Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to design this page over here using HTML and CSS. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your Blogger website. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have logged into my Blogger dashboard and uh, Let's add this design into a new post. You can also add it inside the page by clicking on pages and creating a new page over here. But I just added inside a new post. So let's go over here to posts and let's click on new post. And let's add a title over here. So here I just type meet our team. And the next thing you need to do is you need to change this into the HTML view. So by default, it will be in the compose view. So just click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add your HTML and CSS code. So let's add the CSS over here first. So let's create a style tag for that. And in this style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's copy all the CSS from here. And let's paste it inside the style tag. And let's go outside the style tag and here let's paste the HTML. So let's go back and let's go to the HTML file and let's copy this team container division from here. And let's paste it right here. Now if you go back to the source code here we can see we have this heading. You can change this to whatever you want. And then we have these three images. You can change these images to whatever you want. And then we have this style or CSS file where we have all these uh, CSS styles over here. And uh, when you hover over this, we can see that we have this animation. So all this rotation and translation and all those things are done over here. So you can experiment with these values and try what you like. So let's go back and uh, here, the next thing we need to do is we need to add the actual link of the images over here. Right now it is set to images forward slash the image name. So in our blogger website, we don't have this images folder. So it is inside our local project. So what we need to do is we need to upload these images somewhere and get the links and paste them over here. Now we will upload the images in our post itself. So let's make some space over here and uh, let's click on this button called insert image and let's click on upload from computer. And let's click on choose files. And here we have these three images. So let's select all of these and uh, let's click on open. And we can see that the images are being uploaded. Right now let's select these images and let's click on select. And here for the size, let's choose original size and uh, let's set the alignment to none and let's click on OK. And here we can see that the images have been uploaded and uh, we have the link of the images over here. So what we need is the link of the image. So let's copy the link. So it is inside the href. So let's copy the link of the first image and it is till here. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here for this source of the first image. Let's go back over here and let's copy the link of the second image. So it is uh, this one right here. And let's go ahead and paste it over here for the second image. And now let's get the link of the third image, which is this one right here. So let's copy the link. And let's paste it over here for the third image. And now we can simply go ahead and delete these images from here. So we have the link and we have pasted them over here. So now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm. And here we can see our post has been published. So let's click on this view button. And here we have our team heading and we have these different posts displayed over here. And if you hover over this, we have the animation being displayed. Now here the color of this our team heading is not correct. We don't have the black color displayed over here. So let's go back. Let's go to the post and uh, let's change the color of the heading. So it is this heading right here. Let's change the color to black. And let's update this. Let's go back to our post and reload. And now we can see we have the black color for the heading. And we have the animation working all right. Now if you go to our original design, we can see that we have a different image over here at the front. So let's go back to our post. And here, for the second image, we need to add the link of person3.jpg. So if you go back to our source code over here, here we can see that for the second image, we have images forward slash person3.jpg. So let's make that change over here. So I just cut this from here and paste it for 
this link and uh, let's cut the link of this image and paste it right here and uh, let's click on update let's go back to our post and let's reload this page and now we can see we have the correct image being displayed so everything is working all right now right now we can see that this enter comment text is being hidden by this image so let's right click and go to inspect and if you take a look at the container division here we can see this has a height of 300 pixels so let's increase the height a little bit and now we can see that the text is not being hidden so let's set the height to 380 pixels so let's go back over here to our post and let's change the height to 380 pixels and let's update this let's go back to our post and let's reload this page and now we can see everything looks all right so that's basically how you can add this custom animation design to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,